So let's get this guy ready for export to Substance Painter. There are multiple ways of doing this, but we're just going to cover the basics in this video. We're going to end up with two meshes, one which will paint on in Substance Painter, which will have multiple parts, and an in-game mesh, which will be one continuous object. So there are three parts to this. Take all our separate UV maps, we pack them onto a single texture page. Uh, we need to assign a single material to the whole object and set up the FBX exporter correctly. So we've got five separate objects where each element of the original mesh overlapped another. I detached it and made it a separate object. So for example, say for example where the shorts overlap their legs. And I'll just quickly demo that with the head here. Because you can see that our moustache and eyebrows are connected to this object, so we're going to separate those out. So we're going to add an edit poly modifier, edit poly, and just select these elements to detach, and we're going to detach it as a separate object, and we're going to call that hair. Okay. And we need to get all these elements onto the same texture page. Press Ctrl A to select all the objects. And then we'll add a new Unwrap UV modifier. It will automatically selects polygon mode. And with all the objects selected, we'll open the UV editor. And we can see that all our texture islands are overlapping each other in one big pile. So we need to sort that out. So with everything deselected in polygon mode, we can just go down here and we can do pack, normalize. And that will arrange everything nicely on a page. You can see that there's some big gaps and it's not terribly efficient. There's lots of blank space. So we can do rotate, pack it again. That's a bit better. If we reduce the padding, it will pack it really closely together like that. Now this is actually too close. You can see some things are almost touching, like here, where you get these almost touching texture islands that can cause issues where one texture island will bleed pixels over the edge of another texture island and you'll get a glitch in your texture map where it overlaps. So we're just going to try and space these out a little bit more. Uh, what I find is that um, Point 0.1 is too much and 0 is too little, we want something in between. We can dial in that value by holding down ALT and using the spinner. So I think for this texture map, point 0.003 is good. And then we'll do pack normalize again. And that gives us just enough space to allow for some bleed around the edges of these textures. And then we're going to close the dialog. And we're packed. So now we need to, get, need to get ready for export. Uh, the first thing we need to do is collapse the stack because what can happen is that there seems to be a bug with the FBX exporter. For some reason, the UV modifier is dumped if it's at the top of the stack on export and all the UV data is lost inside Substance Painter. But we can fix this by collapsing the stack. We'll just right click on the modifier in the stack, do collapse all. All the UV maps are preserved now and baked in. And then the next thing we need to do is we need to assign one material to the whole object. And we're going to do that with the material editor. It's going to wipe everything. So we're going to go and reset all the material editor slots. We we'll take this default texture and we'll just name it um, something appropriate like dude because he's a dude and this is going to be his texture. With all these objects selected, we can just drag and drop dude onto the whole selection like that and it'll make him gray. Close that dialog. And then with everything still selected, we go over here to file, export, export selected. And we're going to choose dude paint because that's the object we're going to paint on in Substance Painter. Yes, we'll replace that file and then we're going to set up our export like this. Smoothing groups, yes. 
and just by normals, yes. Uh, triangulate, yes. And preserve edge and orientation, yes. What I found is that hidden edges can get flipped around if you don't use this setup. All the other stuff we can turn off. Um, I suggest you keep that scale factor as one. And then we're good to go. Okay. In Substance Painter, we can then make a new file. So new. PBR Metal Roughness is fine. We'll select our file, do paint. Choose a texture resolution, 2048. And click OK. Here's our nicely packed texture page. All ready to paint on. We've got a single um, texture set which is the, the same name as our material. And if we want now, we can bake some technical maps to help us do the painting. So let's do that. Bake mesh maps. Choose a, a good output size, so 2048 is good. And for this demo, uh, where we haven't got a high poly mesh or an ID mesh, we can use a low poly mesh as a high poly mesh, like this. No cage. This is all good. Don't have an ID map, we won't have a normal map, and we don't need a thickness map. So let's bake that. Bake a dude mesh maps. Okay. So we've got all our technical passes now done. Normal does blank. World space normal is there, that'll help us do some things. We've got no ID maps. We can go and get them later, I'll do that in a different video. Ambient occlusion, curvature, position, no thickness. There we go. So, hope you enjoyed that, and we'll get on to more Substance Painter soon.